Hey everyone, welcome back. I am outside in my backyard. I got a little fire going. Can't ask for a more beautiful day. A little bit of clouds, a little bit of blue sky, a little bit of sun peeking through, and a bonfire going. What I'm going to do on a bonfire, as you saw in this thumbnail in the title, I'm cooking muskrat. <laughs> I'm going to put muskrat over the fire pit. I've never had it. Just like the crow that I had last year or two years ago, I put on the grill. Check out that video. I'll put that right up there. You'll see that if you're watching from your phone or your computer. I'll put that little information card up there or up there. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this on the grill and I'll show you what's going to happen next. All right. These are all hind quarters for the, from the muskrat. Someone asked me if I want to, if I was going to do a catch, catch and cook. Well, yes, I am. I've been wanting to do this for the last couple of years. Give it a try. And now that I got enough muskrats, I can put it on here. See what happens. See what they taste like. What I did is I put them grabs took some barbecue sauce watered it down a little bit and used uh, put a little bit of garlic powder in it also so that's what I used and this is see what it tastes like all right everyone I believe they're done I cut them open just to make sure and they were a little bit pink yet so I cut the rest of them open laying them flat and they're pretty much done right now so here it goes i'm gonna it's my first time eating muskrat what is that smoke it's really good a lot better than the crow I ate in a couple videos ago, last year or the year before. Yeah, these are good. Let's get over to the smoke. Whew. They followed me. <laughs> these are good. I don't care what anybody thinks. If I'm grossing you out. And click off the click off the video. I mean, they're actually good. I need to catch more. Boy, honestly, these are good. I think the best way to do them, in my opinion, yeah, over the fire pit is kind of cool and nostalgic and outdoorsy. Um things like that but I would think next time I'm gonna put these in a slow cooker cook them for a while and then put some barbecue sauce I got them a little bit too close to the fire when I cut them open Oh my gosh, this is so good. Hold on, I'm going to get another one. Let's go this over there. Kind of hot. I got to save some for my son. He's at work. I'm on vacation. I know one thing for a fact. If all hell breaks loose, I know what I'm going to eat. I'm thinking muskrat. It doesn't taste like rabbit, but I'm assuming, correct me if I'm wrong, leave the 
uh, leave a comment. Um, there's no fat on these muskrats, so they're similar to cottontail. So to actually live off of these, I don't think you could do it. You'd have to have some fat in your diet and other things. So to completely live off these, I don't think you can do it. Wow, these are good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah. Like I said, I think the slow cooker would be better. They're really good. If you made it this far, I'm glad you did. I appreciate it. If you like it, if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button if you like this com content. Everything outdoors. I like to try stuff like this. Go back a few videos. I got a whole bunch of cooking videos over the fire pit, the grill. Um Take a look at that. I appreciate all the views. I appreciate all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for bringing me this far. I really enjoy putting out this content. It's something for me to do. It gets me outside other than hunting and trapping and things like that. But you get to experience what I experience. Like today, eating muskrat. So like I said, if you find this video interesting, intriguing, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. I'm close to a thousand subscribers, I need more watch time, but other than that, I don't care. I, this is just fun for me, alright? Check these videos out here and here, subscribe right in the middle. Until then, enjoy the little things.